In the battle of the worldviews, what makes sense? Does the biblical worldview hold up to scientific records, to historical records, and what happens if we don't take the biblical worldview? Find out on this episode of Wonders Without Number. One of the things that I've tried to do over the years in speaking in churches is talk about this idea of consequences that come from the two worldviews. They were always quick to talk about the uh, science, does the science prove this or prove that, right. when really from a much more practical level we have to answer the question, what are the consequences that come mm. from believing in one worldview or another? You see, each person is free to choose whichever one of these two worldviews you want to believe. Nobody's standing with a gun to your head mm -hmm. saying you have to believe in one of the, at least not in this country right. Not yet. Right. But you're not free of the consequences that come with the choice. And people ask me a lot of times, what, what's going on in our country? And I'll tell you what's going on. We are seeing the cumulative choices of millions of Americans choosing to believe in evolutionary humanism at the, at the top of the food chain. And now we're seeing the resu result of their choices being acted out every day in our lives. Let me give you an idea about this whole thing. Ideas have consequences. Now, most people will recognize who this person is. Yes. Obviously, Adolf Hitler. What they may not know about Hitler is that he believed Darwinian biological evolution hook, line, and sinker. He believed that the Aryan race was superior. And so that's why he had no problem with killing millions of gypsies, Jews, and blacks. 